March 14th, 2077. Five years since a mandatory memory wipe, and I'm still haunted by these dreams. Victoria and I were assigned together. In two weeks, our mission here will be finished and we'll join the others. But the questions I ask, she doesn't. The things I wonder about, she won't. It's been half a century since the scavengers destroyed our moon. Forced to leave their own dying planet, they came to take ours. Without the moon, the Earth was thrown into chaos. Earthquakes toppled cities within hours. Tsunamis wiped out what remained. Then came the invasion. We did what we had to do. We used the nukes. We won the war, but lost the planet. Left it contaminated, most of it uninhabitable. What remained of humanity had to leave the Earth. We built the Tet, our mission control. A temporary space station before the migration to Titan. Saturn's largest moon. Everyone's there now. Well, almost everyone. Until our tour is complete, Vika and I do our job. We protect the hydro rigs, which convert Earth's seawater into fusion energy for the new colony. The survival of humanity depends on it. Remnants of the scavenger army continue to disrupt the operation. They attack our drones at night and try to kill me during the day. There's still fight in them, but I don't know why. Mission says we have done well. That we are an effective team. is my communications officer. She keeps an eye on me. I handle drone maintenance. The drones watch everything. Vika can't wait to go. Me, I'm not so sure. I can't shake the feeling that Earth, in spite of all that's happened, Earth is still my home. becomes the one maximum security prison for the entire country. A 50-foot containment wall is erected along the New Jersey shoreline, across the Harlem River, and down along the Brooklyn shoreline. It completely surrounds Manhattan Island. All bridges and waterways are mined. The United States police force, like an army, is encamped around the island. There are no guards inside the prison, only prisoners and the worlds they have made. The rules are simple. Once you go in, you don't come out.
clock stopped at 1.17. There was a long cheer of bright light and a series of low concussions. I think it's October, but I can't be sure. I haven't kept a calendar for years. Each day is more gray than the one before. It is cold and growing colder as the world slowly dies. No animals have survived and all the crops are long gone. Soon all the trees in the world will fall. The roads are peopled by refugees towing carts and gangs carrying weapons, looking for fuel and food. Within a year, there were fires on the ridges, a deranged chanting. A third world war broke out. Those of us who survived knew mankind could never survive. A fourth that our own volatile natures could simply no longer be risked. So we have created a new arm of the law. The Grammaton Cleric, whose sole task it is to seek out and eradicate the true source of man's inhumanity to man. ability to feel police you know what to do 